Hi, I'm here to explain how to set up Git on a GoDaddy share hosting account. In fact, this tutorial could be used on a share hosting account provided by any other web hosting company. So the first thing you need to do is to get SSH access to your share hosting account. On GoDaddy, it's very easy. You just need to call their technical support over the phone and they will walk you through the process to enable it on your account. Now we need to access our share hosting account via SSH. We need to find out what operating system is running on the server that is hosting our website. First you will need to type cat space slash etc slash asterisk dash release and press enter. This command is telling me that the server that is hosting my website is using the CentOS 5.5 operating system. This is an old version of CentOS. But we also need to know if this operating system is a 32 bits or a 64 bits operating system. The command for this is uname space dash m. This command is telling me that the CentOS 5.5 is a 32 bits operating system. Now let's exit this window, open a browser, and go to the website http colon slash slash vault.centos.org. From this website, you will be able to download older versions of CentOS. 5.5, go to the ISOs page. Now we choose the I386, which is the place where the 32 bits version is located. Now I will go straight to the DVD ISO image that has the binaries. I tried to do this whole procedure with the live CD, but I ended up getting stuck with an error message that I was never able to get around of. After several attempts, I decided to go for full installation and that's what you will get on this video. The full installed DVD is only available as a torrent link. I have BitComet installed on my computer, but any torrent client will do. Ok, I only need to download the main file. So let's prioritize this download so it comes a little faster. Now that the download is finished, we can close this windows and begin the installation. I will use VirtualBox to create a virtual machine where I will be able to do the CentOS installation without much hassle. The name of my virtual machine will be CentOS 5.5 32 bits. I will give 4 GB of RAM for my virtual machine. I would advise you to give at least 2 GB for your VM. Just make sure you don't go over the green bar here. I will leave everything else here as default. Now I will need to change a couple of settings on my VM. Now let's go to the storage tab and select the DVD image we just finished downloading. It doesn't hurt to set this IDE as primary master. And finally, we need to change in the network tab from NAT to bridged adapter. OK, and start the machine. Enter. Here you need to skip CD testing using the keyboard arrows. Let's go next. Next, next, say yes here, next, yes again, next, next. Let's type some simple password here for our root user. Repeat the password here, next, next. 
next. Reboot. Here we are. Now we need to go forward, 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 forward. Type any username here any password, confirm, forward, forward, and finish. OK, now it's time to type the username that you want to log in with. We'll go with root here. Now you type the password you created for the root user. Here we are. We will begin by opening my Drupal Fever website because I have a cheat sheet there that will help speed things up. If, however, you want to type everything by hand, be my guest. Here it is. We'll need to execute the following series of commands. This will install all the software necessary for us to compile Git from the source code. Now we need to open a terminal window so we can paste the commands we just copied. OK. Paste. Enter. This will take a little while. OK. Let's go back to the browser and copy the following line. This will download the source code of the latest version of Git. Enter. OK, now we need to use this command to decompress the file that we just downloaded. Now we need to get into this folder we just decompressed and execute the command make. This will prepare the files for installation. Now we need to execute the command make install to initiate the installation. OK, let's go to the parent folder and list its content. These are the Git folders that we will need to copy to GoDaddy. bin, lib, libexec, and share. Now, let's copy this command that will compress the BIN folder. Now, let's copy this command that will compress the LIB folder. The same for the LIB exec folder. And finally, the command for the share folder. Now, let's list the content of this folder again. As you can see, all the compressed files are ready to go. Let's continue. This command will upload the compressed BIN folder to my GoDaddy account. You'll have to alter this command so it has your username and your website address instead. Now type your GoDaddy SSH password and press Enter. Now we'll do the same for each of the other files. Now we can go back to our GoDaddy account. We need to access it via SSH. The files will be all there. Now we will use a couple of commands to decompress each of the compressed files that we previously uploaded to our home folder. 
Now you can delete all the compressed files all at once by executing the command rm space dash f space asterisk dot tar dot bz2 and press enter. Finally, we need to create a dot profile file with vi. vi is a text editor. If you already have something in your dot profile file, just skip to the end of it. To input text in vi, you need to press the i key on your keyboard to enter into insert mode. Now you will need to type the following lines. Now to save these lines in VI, you have to press the escape key on your keyboard and type column W Q and then press enter. Now for all these changes to take effect, you need to log out of GoDaddy and log back in. Now type git space dash dash version and press enter. If you got git's version number, you should be all set. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos about git, SSH, CentOS, Drupal and a lot more. This is Elias Barbosa from Drupal Fever. See you next time.